What's going on, coin nerds? Kevin here at Falls Coins, and we are going to be doing another 10 rolls. We still have another 10 off to the side. That set does have the four and under in it, but today we're going to go through. Hopefully, we can find some goodies. You may notice that on the uh, screen over here, the numbers have changed a little bit. And that's because I got a really nice idea from a buddy of mine, Sir Will the Coin Knight. And he said, I really love the setup you've got going. What about doing a year to date? And I thought about it and I said, you know what, that's a really good idea. Um, year to date on nickels probably will not climb all that much because for me, nickels are expensive. But pennies sure aren't and I do like doing my penny boxes. But from now on, every little denomination, if I do videos for them for the entire year, we're going to get a counter of how many we've collected throughout the year. Also, I am going to try and update this as we record using OBS. So hopefully it's a little less strain on my video editor. So, wish me luck, and hopefully I don't mess that up too much. But without further ado, roll number one. Let's dig in. All right, so we're in roll number one, as you know. Got a 2005 Philly Ocean and View. Nothing too fancy there, but we do have something here, something we're showing. And it is our first 30s. We've got a 1939. And it is a Philly. But 1939 brings us to our first 30s in these rolls and the oldest coin to date. So not too bad. Let's see what else is in here. Two coins later, we've got 1949. 1949 out of Philly, we're going to pull the cam up a little bit so we can get a little bit better view of these coins. We're not lucky for errors or varieties right now, but big old gash right through the skull. But for 1949, I will take that. Not too shabby. All right. Hopefully that counter is updating live. As I do it. All right. Let's see what else we can find. All right. So roll number one did give us three journey westwards. <coughs> the 49 and the 39. Roll number two, can you be better than that? Can you bring the goods? Leave in the bat knife for good luck. Let's find out. Well, we're just a few coins in. We've got ourselves a beat up, but still legible, 1958. So 1958 brings us up to four 50s on the year total. And this one was out of Denver. Not too bad. 
We've got a 30s. We've got a 40s. We've got a 50s. What else can we find? Maybe we could actually finally get a buffalo. Alright, so roll number two is done, giving us a 95. I am going to pause this for just a second, and I'm going to actually look at this footage to make sure that the counter over here is correctly updating as we go. And I don't want to go through the whole video and find out it's messed up from the get-go. So I'm going to pause and be right back, but for you it's just going to be a second. All right, so all looked good. Did update as we as I had hoped. So we're gonna continue on this. Sorry, folks, just trying something new. I would love to be able to just keep everything, record everything solidly through, not have to do any editing. But sadly, I don't like putting up 30, 40, 50 minute long videos. So. And regardless, this one's going to have to be at least spliced together as well. But roll number three, four. Roll number four. Yeah, roll number three. Yeah. Let's find out what's in this roll. And the hits just keep coming. Boom. 1946. Not too bad. It is out of Philly, but a 1946 brings our total up to four 1940s on the year. Well, let's keep on digging. There's some dark ones back here too, so who knows? Not too much in that one. Where did my 40s? Did I really just put that 46 back in here? Hang on there, fellas. Oh, no. It's under here. It's under the scope. Oi. Wow. All right. Roll number four. We've gotten a hit in every roll. It'd be nice to keep this gravy chain rolling. Whoa. Bringing the good luck from the bat knife. Let's see what we got. All right, roll number four was pretty much a dud. All we got out of it was one journey westward. Roll number five. Bat knife failed us that time. One rough looking one. Maybe it could be something. Maybe not. Had a lot of rough 70s in that last batch, last roll, really. So. Bon appétit. All right. We got ourselves a hit. Jabang. Bazinga. We've got a 59 out of Denver. Update the scoreboard. 
and boom. What else can we find? All right, that roll did give us a 50s, so that was cool. Got a hit out of it. But we've got roll number six coming up. We still want silver. We still want foreigns. Which, surprisingly, we haven't had any yet. We want a buffalo. And we haven't had no 2009s either. So, all right. Let's see what we get. All right, roll number six is in the books. We did have another hit and this one brings us to canada oh canada you don't want me singing no more songs so let's get this one updated six foreigns year to date but it's not a bahamas that was still cool. Getting a Bahama five cent piece. Last video. Roll number seven. Maybe something in here. Who knows? Let's find out. Yep, so the one that I thought was going to possibly be, because it just looks so much duller than the rest, turns out to be, we've got 1954 out of Philly. So, 1954 brings us up to 650s for the year. Let's keep on digging. All right, a couple more journey westwards to add to our piles. I am going to say something, and it's probably going to jinx us, but we are almost 30 full rolls. We are at 27 at this moment out of the 40 that I had gotten. We have not pulled a single 2019. Now, 2019s are not rare, so... Does that mean that these rolls have been sitting in the bank for almost a year before I purchased them? Or even over a year? Who knows? But roll number eight. Well, I don't know if it was the one that I was seeing, but we do have another hit. Bang! 46 out of Philly. <laughs> Five so far on the air. Not too bad. What else can we find? All right, so that 46 was the only hit in this roll. Roll number nine. Nope, 
Not too bad, though. I'm definitely, for my first, obviously not a full box, almost a full box, but we'll just say are my first box of nickels. Not too bad. Definitely been getting some nice stuff. But let's see what's in this roll. Bingo Bango 40 was its name ho. Another 40s to add to the collection. This one being 1940 itself. And it is. That looks like an S. It is 1940s. Not too bad. Definitely happy with any estimates I ever get. Still plenty of roll left here. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, moving on to the final roll. I don't think we've been doing too bad. What do you think? Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've managed to watch all three of these videos. What do you think so far? And maybe we can add to this pile. But yeah, let me know what you think so far. But till then, we're going to finish and see what's in this roll. We got a hit. 59. The hits just keep coming. We keep finding stuff beautiful as it can be. And it is a 59 out of Denver. Still no silver. Not complaining though. We still have 10 more rolls for next time. But let's finish this roll. See if we can't get at least one more hit. Psychic to last coin, almost an ender. We do finish this roll out with the hit. And it is another Canadian five cent piece. And that brings us up to seven on the year. Not too bad. 78 to go with the 87. So kind of a flip flop. Of dates there but two Canadians and the last one was just a 91 but we had six ocean and views four piece metals four bisons five keel boats two Canadian five cent pieces we had four 1950s with a 54 being the oldest. Fifty four, a fifty eight, and two fifty nines. We had four 1940s, the oldest being 1940 itself. We had two 1946s and a 49. And the oldest 
thus far. Boom. 1939. Put that under the cam one last time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, remember, we do have 10 more for next time. And don't worry about these because I do have a little cheat sheet. I'm going to go through and pull out all these dates. I already did that with the pile from the last video. And I'll do the same with the pile from the next video. And that way I'm going to try and have a nice stream where we look for errors. Because it is possible to find errors even on newer nickels. Because you never know what you're going to find. So that's definitely something to look forward to. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the new updated counter. Even though I updated it and posted it before. And other than that, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next time. Peace, everyone.